Welcome to a video tutorial on mechanical reasoning tests. Mechanical reasoning tests assess your ability to recognise mechanical tools and devices, your comprehension on everyday physics and how things work in general. Common questions found in mechanical reasoning aptitude tests are questions related to the recognition and usage of several tools and equipment, questions related to gears, pulleys, springs, gauges, pumps, valves and so forth. You don't need to be a mechanical engineer in order to solve those questions. The key point for finding the right solution is to use common sense. Most of the questions will include simple physics laws applicable to everyday life. If the question has more than two parts or is too complex, break it down into smaller, more manageable pieces. Some questions may require you to do simple mathematical functions such as addition, subtraction, division or multiplication. Use paper and or calculator if needed. And most importantly, do not forget to read the instructions well and in case that you are not familiar with the question, try to apply some simple logic to eliminate the wrong answers and then remain focused on the ones left. Good luck, let's practice. So in this question, we're being asked how many of the gears shown here will be moving clockwise. So to figure this out, we need to find out what information we've got available. The only information we've got available at the moment is that gear B is rotating in a clockwise direction. So the question is asking us how many gears are moving clockwise. So gear B is moving clockwise, so that is 1. Um, the best way I find to solve a problem like this is if it's moving clockwise, that tooth will push that tooth backwards, so A will be moving anti-clockwise because B is moving clockwise and pushing it around like that. So that means we've got 1 moving clockwise, that tooth there is pushing C anti-clockwise which is pushing D clockwise so that is 2 and if it's going anti-clockwise that will be pushing E in a clockwise direction so that would give us 3 so the correct answer for this question would be 3